Hey everybody, welcome back to Enchanted Meadows Farm. Today I'm going to be showing you how our milking system works. As always, before we start the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, starting with this area here, this is the receiver tank. The milk either comes in from this pipe up here or this pipe down here after it goes through the whole pipeline. Moving to this little jug here, if this motor here which pumps the milk all the way up the pipeline and into the bulk tank were to fail it, the milk would start going out this pipe out the receiver jar and it would make this ball go up and shut the vacuum pump off the sink here is actually called a basin this is where the milkers are stored when they are not being used this blue box here controls the wash you put the soap in here, the water fills down through these hoses into the basin and then the milkers suck it up and put it out to the pipeline in the barn. The box above it here is the control box for the vacuum pump. This box over here controls the wash for the bulk tank so after the milk collar comes there will be soap in here and it'll run it through the bulk tank and then it also when the bulk tank is full of milk it'll keep it cool and it'll agitate it. This thing right here is the agitator. There's a little motor in there that spins some paddles inside the bulk tank that mixes the milk together. This here is the vacuum pump that makes it so we can milk the cows. So this thing here is a pulsator and it pulses the vacuum that the vacuum pump makes. That way it ain't just a constant sucking. It, it moves it back and forth from left to right. And then these are the inflations that you will put on the teats. And this hose here is the one that the milk travels through. Alright, now I'm going to show you how we set up the milk first start by taking this pipe off here. This is when we're doing the wash, it drains the water out of the pipe one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to shut off all the shut off on the milkers. Next, we take the milk line of the milker, pop them off, and then the pulsator we bring out and around. And we take the rest of the milkers off, like so. Take it over here, bring the small over, and then what we want is we want these two to sit higher than the claw, so we'll give them a nice little tug, and then slide them on down. And we continue that for the next milker. drain here. There's a shut off for that vacuum pump overflow. We'll shut that off and there you have it. Alright, so next I have what we call the swing pipe. So what I have to do is I have to disconnect this, pull this little clip off, pick up this pipeline, hang it over here. Then I have to pull this thing off and there's a filter sock that goes on this. So I'll put that back on and be right back. Thank you. 
So this filter sock catches any dirt or anything that will try to get into the bulk tank. So it'll catch it and then it won't get in there. So we stick this thing in there like this. Hook this on there. Put this back around and clamp her down. There you go. When we go to Malco Cow, we plug the pulsator into the vacuum line. And then we take the milk line and we plug it in to the pipe line. And then we take the claw, which is this thing right here. And we bring it down here. There's a shot off here. We turn that on. And there you go.